Junior Secondary School. Vikinara. about uh, 
congratulations on the put in place so that it does not collapse again. Thank you. Thank you so much. I close the chapter. Professor, two questions. My hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mind now to close the jump. Is CPC a political project <laughs> or a professional project given the manner in which it has been presented and it is being implemented? In regard to what you presented and what we know at the stages of curriculum review, curriculum development, and curriculum implementation. Two, based on your presentation, CBC is, seems to be about technology. Is CBC equal to technology? Thank you and welcome. Could not 
give Professor Karega any breathing space. And they walked into Jogo House almost every day for this diploma college that time. But things accelerated. By the time it was getting ready, the university was given. So many people don't want, and I'm not in the politics of Bungoma, but if it was not for Moses Watangula and before the, the former Nats, yeah, before the Wakoli. Wakoli, they were so adamant, in fact, very rough on the peers, because he was reluctant to release the money, the one point something billion that was brought here, 1.9 billion. You owe it to them. And that, I was there because I was in charge of policy and fund. So can you imagine trying to disentangle that? There's so much energy was used to, to form it. How do you then dissolve it? It will not be possible. But I wish them well. Level, uh, somebody has talked about um, what exam. There will be no exam because we are hoping that the examination council now has the adequate assessment tools for these students. So by the time they proceed from level six, we are beginning to push them towards their learning paths. Yeah, so I, I, personally I don't see any problem, and in any case, we shall fortify the primary schools, the existing primary schools. And that's why again we come to resources, to make sure that there are adequate resources to make these schools be able to detect the strengths of various children. So these ones are these science oriented, are these arts oriented, are these technically oriented. So that's, that's uh, I don't see the fear there. Now, I agree that with the student on emotional intelligence, very vital. But about, again, ECD, I am the chairman of Kakamega County Education Board. Uh, for since we became a county, I, I'm now doing my second term. And in Kakamega County, we did a, we did a, a report for Paranya. Uh, so we told the Paranya, for example, that you must support our best high schools. That's why you see Kakamega High School, the road is done from the highway up to the end, the dining hall is expanded, Musingu High School, and other schools, we say that. We also told him we want to build 265 ECD centers. 265, and we are going to employ the teachers for those centers. And now we are starting the lunch, pro the, 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 the feeding program in those, in those centers. Because those kids are emotionally fragile. Many of them come from very deprived backgrounds. Again, the kids who come into the ordinary ECD centers come from places where breakfast is, is unheard of. So I, I hear what you're saying, and there's a lot of emphasis. And our bigger picture, of course, is that C, uh, ECD will be mainstreamed into Teacher Service Commission, so that the teachers are employed by the same employer. Now, I've had the store consulate, consulata, is she consulata? Yes. Yeah, Linda and Nelly. Uh, this, I don't know. Why there's such a big worry? Why is there such a big worry about 30%, 70% uh, regulation? For the graduates, yes, but even the 70 should not be gotten from recall, from remembering and understanding. You can task these students better to give them the 70%. But as a teacher of statistics, have we heard of weighted scores? Uh, weighted scores. Uh, I, can, I can do weighting within the range I've been given. And uh, me and I have known what I've done to raise that 70%. I don't know whether we have heard of that. Weighted scores, statistically. Go to your math department. The weighted scores. That, that will overcome this. And please, let's not be dogmatic. Uh, regulations, policy. Uh, it is those those people who are daring enough to do things differently that make a difference on this earth. Otherwise, you remain ordinary. So don't worry about that. But but uh, my worry was 
do our PhD students have to do cuts to get the 60%? I mean, exams. No, there's a way. But even my undergraduates, I can do weighted scores and therefore give you weight for that practical work that they did. Yeah, and still aggregate it into the test scores. There's, there are many ways of skinning uh, the cut. Now, finally, um, Kina, Kinara or Kinara? Yeah, Kinara. Um, language and technology. Were you worried that you can't teach literature without books? Yeah. Um, have you heard of uh, Kindles? The Kindle? The, tab the tablet Kindle, where you can have 2,000 books? Uh, how, do I, how do I use language? How do I use technology to perfect literature? In fact, technology allows you, you can give me your contact if you are a teacher of language, and I'll give you some sites where you get very interesting articles, and they're not long, they're one page, two page articles. If you throw them to your class here, and they go through that article and they discuss it, their language levels just increase. So there are many ways of going around it. But please, let us not be shy of technology. As I understand. Thank you. Are those clubs what the responses of the professor? Yes, 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 yes. I think uh, we'll have time at the end again so that we can interact at, uh, on one-on-one -on -one basis if our presenter has time for us. So, you can ask him for further details or questions that he may be able to clarify. Otherwise, thank you so much and come for me. Thank you. May I have the pleasure of returning the program back to Madam Dean. Welcome, Madam. Thank you so much. I believe members of the, the university and the students, we have heard what we have been told today, and that's where the change starts with each one of us. Professor, we know we have a lot of work to do as a faculty, but because you are now one of us, we'll be consulting you from time to time. And now that we are in collaboration with the Leicester University, I think our work is going to be very easy and as the department within the Faculty of Education and other schools and faculty, let us work together as a team. Then number three, I hope you have learned today that if you don't do the right thing, then we are doing what we call silent exclusion. So when you step in the class, are you giving the students the right information? And lastly, when we attended the meeting at Ebu last in August last year, where Professor Hero was one of the facilitators, they told us the train has left the station and we are the people to run after it, get into it, and take it to the right direction. If I be university, the train is just coming to our station, can we get ready for it? At this moment, I want to welcome our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Shibairo, who will give his closing remarks on behalf of the BC. Welcome, Professor.
Are you excited as me? I think my needs were met more than I expected. I'm standing here on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, who is Natalie Kota, and also on behalf of my colleagues. Uh, they are together with us. Um, they have also, their needs for their expectations have also been fulfilled. I want to comment on uh, one or two things that President uh, Jacob told us. One of them is uh, he gave us an opportunity. He saw something, you know, you need somebody from outside to tell you where you are in heaven. That we need to do a proposal so that we can do one or two. And the biggest challenge is say to enable students uh, computer <coughs> ratio to go high. I think we are going to start on that. Uh, when you said that, it opened my mind even other things. So thank you for the challenge. And Professor Mutua, you are not here. But there's a challenge that we work on. So we'll take on it. I will make sure that who we did with you and we do something. Um, about CBC, <coughs> I was so surprised during this last day uh, when we said we would mass transit. <laughs> Yet we are still wondering where do my students go? You want your students to still go to Kenya High. You want them to go to the Alliance, study her boys. You want them to go where? To Gulu. And we are in the advent of going to see this. Why are we worried about that? Again, to turn things around. We have always been told that, um, I mean, when you hear results, you hear it's Alliance that has done well. Uh, uh, in a high, and then uh, a school down here called Timbuktu. You know it's result. The facilitator has helped us to see why the biggest problem is resources. So when he says resources, maybe he didn't elaborate. One of them is human capacity as the teachers then equipment, then laboratories, then libraries, etc. I agree with him that as a nation, we need to do a much of that so that we keep every school with those things. That way you don't worry whether your daughter goes to Kenya High. That's where we should be going. We have what we call equalization and equity to education. Finally, May I comment on that issue of ICT? Uh, when I joined here, I got a project that I called ERP. I took three good years of my strength trying to download them. Maybe my approach was poor. But whenever you go to a lecture, and you to do something on the computer, you are like challenging somebody to do things they have never even tried. For example, even as far as yesterday, you get ahead of admin. We were supposed to do uh, course allocations a month ago before people come from uh, this center. But they cannot present you a, a, a course allocation. And when you insist they give you, they are prepared in a very confused manner and they have signed it. You tell them to do it, they go again, they come back. The reason is because the real person working behind this computer is not the enemy. Finally, they admit to somebody behind it. This is not the time when you let somebody to pull you your work. You should know every comma and every full stop in every product. I'm glad that the commander is smiling at me there. He presented this course allocation uh, one and a half months ago, and I congratulated him for that. He didn't give me a lot of things. That's where we should be going. 
So for this, I was not doing it for myself, it's for you. The world is going to nice it. Whether you want it or not. Uh, finally, I've been challenged here, I don't know whether you can allow us or not. The deans are humbly requesting me, the academic team, the deans, they are all academic, that you allow them a benchmarking feedback in your university. So they may visit you for one or two days. If you don't mind to learn. Is that a great idea? Yes. So may God bless you. Grant you even more favor than I. You are already very rich. We share almost a name. By the way, my name is not Shiva. Shiva Hero. I'm Shiva Hero. With a B. Thank you. May God bless you. We have a big, I take this opportunity to declare this workshop officially lost. Let's have a minute, Professor Shibayo, we appreciate it, thank you. Yes, guest of honor, sir, with your permission. Now, we would like to invite uh, Dr. Kadia Wanyama, the Dean School of Business, to briefly move a of that. Thank you so much. Uh, the MC uh, of, this, uh, of today, uh, Dr. Brian Siguro, and also uh, Mr. Makaris Makoko. Thank you so much. I think they have done. Can we appreciate the place? <laughs> um, I'll be very, very brief because of time. I would like to appreciate each one of you for coming. Just turn to your neighbor, the neighbor, and say thank you for coming. Uh, secondly, I want to thank uh, the session, uh, the, the, the chairperson of the various sessions uh, for doing it very well. I want to thank uh, the following people, Dr. Robert Mafula, uh, for the opening prayer. I want to thank even uh, the, 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 the faculty that organized for this session.